Welcome to MJ Hobby Corner, everyone. I'm MJ, and for today, uh, I have a little update to show you guys what I was doing uh, these past couple of days. And uh, basically, I've been working on airships. I, I want to do some games with airships, so I decided to make some, and that's the scratch bell that you are seeing right now. Now, uh, these ships are heavily inspired by the game Spelljammer. Now, for those of you that don't know, Spelljammer is a campaign setting that was originally designed for advanced Dungeons and Dragons. So it basically took D&D races into space. Now, the most fantastic thing about Spelljammer is the fact that is the uh, actual ships themselves, the Spelljammers. That's what they're called. And uh, these ships are extremely varied. So instead of having, uh, say, starships that move your characters from place to place in space, you have ships with a very strong Age of Sail theme. Okay? So uh, they're just basically sailing vessels that go up into space. Now, the interesting thing is that the magic, since these spell jammers are magical artifacts, magical constructions, um, or constructs, for lack of a better word, uh, these ships have their own atmosphere. It's like a bubble of, of atmosphere that surrounds them. They also have their own gravity. And so that's why they're kind of able to transport the different races from you know, planet to planet, world to world. It's a very interesting setting. It's a uh, high fantasy, but it's very, very interesting. And so I decided that my airships were going to be inspired by Spelljammer, okay? So uh, that's what I did. Of course, I add my own flair, my own kind of thing to it, and I changed the designs a little bit. So first things first, we have the Wasp, and this is the Heavy Wasp. This is a lizard man uh, ship, actually, or can be a lizard man ship. Basically, uh, it depends on how we decide to play this. If we give it a very strong pirate theme, then uh, we can just choose one of these ships uh, and, and just say that we acquired it somehow. Or if we're playing a more military theme, then some of these ships will go to the different racial factions right to represent the militaries of the different factions so that's lizard man or elf you know an elf pirate fleet that would that would be cool and then this is one of my favorite this is the uh based on the squid ship and basically uh this thing is i call it the kraken and there is a kraken class in the game uh, I'll have to look at it, but this one, I I made it into a battleship, and I kind of added my own thing to it. There's like these castle ramparts, a castle tower. Uh, you have little tireems, which were very small to make. You see the little tireems there, and there's some uh, powder cannon as well. But these little tireems were really small to make, and uh, kind of a pain in the butt. So you do need a lot of patience when working with these. But uh, we have some ballistas here, okay? And they're on platforms at the end of the tentacles. We also have some little tireems on these larger tentacles. And I don't know what weapon I'm going to add on those two yet. But uh, basically there's a catapult. Okay, and it has a little stone on it. And, ba and these things will probably not be shooting stones, but these metal balls, kind of like cannonballs, and you can fill them up with alchemist fire and or, or alchemist powder, whatever it is, and cause them to explode or, or to ignite, whatever. So the ammunition is going to be a little different. And there it is. There is the giant Kraken class, and that is a human ship. It is a human battleship. That's what I'm making it. All right, and then we have this one, which is based on the Hammerhead, except this one's wider, so it probably has more uh, cargo space than the original Hammerhead. 
And I'm going to be making more hammerhead ships because there, there's a whole variety of them. So, and this is could be a human ship. Um, in fact, it is uh, uh, created by humans in the game. And now, what you'll notice is the mast. I haven't finished the sails on the mast. So once I finish painting this, uh, and these are all primed. Once I finish painting it, then I'll add the sails. And the final step will be to add the rigging, okay, with very thin wire. I will add some rigging because rigging will really make these things, uh, you know, it will really add a nice piece of detail, okay. So that's a human ship. And then we have another human ship. And this one has like the fins of a fish almost. Okay. So that's that. And then all those little holes represent holes where there's a gun or, or something like that. You know, a weapon. So these things do have broadsides. And again, once I finish painting it, I will put up the sails. Okay, so another, could be another pirate ship. It could be a cargo vessel. It could be any of those things. Even a treasure ship. This one's an elf ship because, of course, Julie said, well, where are my elves? And so I'm beginning uh, in the elf empire. And this is going to be one of their ships. It's almost like a moth. So I'm going to finish this up. This I just started this one today. And a couple of things about these builds. First, they're all cardboard and sticks and a little bit of foam. Okay, but it's mostly cardboard. Um, the other thing is these are, I built four of these in one day. So these are one day builds with the exception of the moth uh, ship there. And uh, this Kraken ship. This Kraken ship I had to finish today. So it's a little over a day of work to get these ships done. So I have more than enough to start a basic game. All right. So that's uh, one very important part of these builds is that I build them in such a way that they're quick, okay? I will have the how-tos when I start building the Dark Elf faction. Uh, with the Dark Elves, they're going to be very interesting. And uh, also the Mind Flayers. So those two factions, I'm going to uh, do a how-to videos on my Patreon. So if you're not a member of our Patreon, consider uh, becoming a member of our Patreon. There will be bonus videos and also, for the second tier patrons, bonus documents. So there'll be PDFs that I write up every month, and it'll go on there as uh, an extra little perk. And so there will be a version, a document written for this. Maybe some short stories, uh, you know, write about the ships or something like that. But that will be on the Patreon, okay? And then, of course, we will have our first game here in the channel. So everyone can see. And we haven't decided yet what the rules of the game will be. You know, what rules? Are we going to use watered-down version of Spelljammer for the tabletop battle or a another rule set? Like even, even Dragon Rampant, tweak it up and, uh, you know, use that. So we'll see. We'll see. Definitely let us know below what you think, uh, what rule sets I could use. But I do want to use some of the Spelljammer material because it's very interesting. Also important is that all the structural variety that you see here is built from two cardboard templates. Okay, these two templates uh, are the ones, by modifying those two templates, I make all of this structural variety. Okay, and that makes things a lot easier too. Uh, again, everything is cardboard, so... You know, but the templates are very important uh, so that I can replicate the same uh, design over and over and just modify things to get variety. That's very important about this build. Okay, and so I have a little Sky Realm here that I built uh, very quickly, very low budget. And you can, guys can see the breeze. It's getting pretty windy out there, uh, the breeze going through the studio. So hopefully it won't blow everything away. But uh, basically... I didn't, I have to clip this thing down. I didn't clip it down. Uh, but anyway, uh, so very low budget. Okay. And you can see the thunderstorm here. And there's some really colorful clouds, magical clouds there. 
Uh, these are floating islands, okay? And there's another floating island back there uh, surrounded by the storm. And that storm used to light up, but it's not lighting up now. Uh, and there's the Kraken vessel with the other vessel. And then uh, we have another floating island. Here are the other two vessels, okay? And then, uh, you know, more clouds, more, more floating islands and stuff. So basically what I'm doing is just setting up a theoretical table and just seeing how the models fit with it, you know, uh, the scale of the models, the you know what space i have available and also what terrain because phase two once i'm satisfied with the collection of ships phase two is basically making terrain that i would need to represent the different regions of you know uh, of the ether of space basically so that's what i'm doing uh right now okay and i came up with the setup and this could definitely be a setup for our first game and uh, with all the cloud terrain so there you go some airships and that is uh, today's update today's project and uh, that Kraken I really like the Kraken I really do it's probably gonna be uh, my enemy but I really like the Kraken so there you go folks cardboard spell jammer airships uh, a lot of work, but not not a lot of time to make, okay? Uh, you know, one-day builds. I mean, what better than that? The Kraken uh, was not a one-day build. It was really those three ships built in one day. The Kraken was started and then finished today. So, you know, we'll say two days, okay? And, of course, they have to be painted, so we have to consider that. A very fun project. Stay tuned for more ships. I will update on more ship designs. We're working on Empire of the Elves now, but then we're going to do some Orc stuff, and we're also going to do Dark Elves and Mind Flayers. Those are my favorite too. So stay tuned for that. And uh, we're also we're going to be doing a bunch of different sized uh, vessels to represent different things in the Spelljammer universe. All right, folks. Well, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this little update. Go check out our Patreon. But if you can't do so, uh, you can still support us by liking and subscribing. And we'll definitely like to have you on board for all of these gaming shenanigans. All right, folks. Enjoy your day. We'll talk very soon. Mm -hmm.